Hey guys, it's Maddie, and today I'm going to be explaining every song on Fine Line by Harry Styles. Now, I know I've only done Taylor Swift album explanations up to this point, but with Harry's new announcement of his third album, Harry's House, I thought it would be fitting to do Harry's albums as well, since I am a huge Harry fan, and his albums are so intricate and interesting, so I think we should just get into it. The first song, Golden, travels through the beginning of a relationship, where you're finding out one another and in turn, discovering yourself. It's about the exhilaration of it all, but also the fears that come along with it. Harry sings about how open he is and how he's giving his all to this relationship, and how that might be frightening because all good things come to an end. He knows that it might be too good to be true, but he's given all of himself anyway. He can feel the effect the relationship is having on his life. Watermelon Sugar, in Harry's own words, is about the female orgasm. In a more melodic way, he says that it's about the sweetness of life. It's the euphoric feeling when you first start seeing somebody, the honeymoon phase. He draws this comparison between that initial euphoria and summer. It's wonderful, warm, and sounds just like a song. Adore You is about passion. Harry is fully in love with his muse, and in Adore You, practically begs for the pleasure of adoring them. He'd do anything for his love, which is illustrated through the chorus. Again, this song is about the euphoria that comes with love and how it can take over your life. This seems to be a theme for the first three songs on the album. Lights Up is a song about self-discovery. Some fans see this as a song of Harry addressing his sexuality as it was released on National Coming Out Day. Either way, it's a song about freedom. It features the rhetorical question, do you know who you are, which Harry has made comments about after performing such as, I do now, or yup. It documents his journey of self-reflection and how now that he's found the light, he'll never go back into the dark. Notoriously featuring voice memos from Harry's ex, Camille Rowe, Cherry is a breakup song about watching your ex move on from you with somebody new. Harry could see how well Camille was doing, which made him feel even worse that she moved on so easily. He hates to see her call somebody else baby or any other names that she used to use with Harry. The bridge is a simple one-line question. Does he take you walking around his parents' gallery? Shortly after the breakup, Camille started dating a gallerist, which explains Harry's question. The outro is a real voice memo of Camille speaking in French, which translates to, Hey, are you asleep? Oh, sorry, no, it's not important. Yes, we went to the pool, and now we... And then it cuts to her saying, perfect, Harry. She was saying this while Harry was recording his guitar, and she happened to be speaking in the key of the song. Falling hints at infidelity in the first few lines and regretting actions Harry took in his relationship. He struggles with feeling okay about himself, and he says that he saw himself beginning to become somebody he didn't want to be. He's lonely and is resentful of himself for what he did. His ex says that she still cares and misses him too, but they both know that it will never be the same. He thinks that she'll be just fine without him, but he's not so sure about himself. After the heartbreaking last two songs, To Be So Lonely has a cold tone to it. Harry drunk calls his ex, but doesn't want her to think anything of it. He takes no blame for the breakup in the song, but still acknowledges that he can't admit when he's sorry, which leads to coldness. He tells his ex not to call him baby, similar to in Cherry, because he knows it's over. He's lonely, but almost has too much pride to admit his wrongdoings or to be friends just yet. Harry has never truly confirmed what she is about, which leaves it up for interpretation. One of the most common interpretations is that the protagonist of the song is a man who is exploring his feminine side. The verses are sung with male pronouns, but the chorus is sung with female pronouns. This female side is only a daydream, not enforced in the protagonist's real life. It's something they long for, but they're confused about. Another interpretation is that the song is about the protagonist picturing himself with someone other than the person he's currently with. Sunflower Volume 6 is a song of devotion. There are a plethora of metaphors in the song, including I've got your face hung up high in the gallery, which shows how much Harry respects and loves this person. He wants to get to know them on a deep level. Even after time has passed, he's still just as infatuated as he was at the beginning. And even then, if the feelings fizzle out, he wants to remember the relationship fondly or even have it repeat again, even if it's with a different person. Canyon Moon is a song reminiscing on a great and happy time that Harry wants to revisit again. No matter what he does, he always calls back to the time under the Canyon Moon. The song could be about a relationship that has ended, but that he has fond memories of. Treat people with kindness is Harry's infamous phrase. Harry calls back on the highest and lowest times of his life, and how he's creating a fine line between them on the record. This is an upbeat, happy song that Harry says opens something that's been in his core. Even though there will be ups and downs in his life, he knows that he'll ultimately be alright. As the title track of the album, Fine Line discusses a relationship that fluctuates often between the highest highs and the lowest lows. He's devoted to this person, but he gets frustrated with them frequently. He's not sure that they'll ever fully understand one another because they're incapable of openly communicating. 
What's Done is Done, and the song echoes the theme of better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. The song has a melancholy ending, but repeats the phrase, we'll be alright, signifying that whatever happens to either party, they'll both end up being okay. I hope you guys enjoy this explanation of Fine Line. It is a shorter album compared to Taylor's albums tend to be on the longer side. Fine Line is one of my favorite albums of all time. I think it is a masterpiece. Um, I'm really curious what your favorite song is on Fine Line. Mine is definitely Fine Line because it just is angelic and has such a wonderful and sad feeling to it that no other song I feel like can encapsulate. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will be doing his debut album next and then hopefully Harry's House as soon as it comes out. I am so excited. Thank you for watching.